I'm at Fort Borst. I was I was handed this thing and told I should do a video about it. I'm I've been in reliably informed it's from a video game, but I don't play the video game because first person shooters make me motion sick. So I brought in my resident expert on the game, Crewman Rocket. Can't imagine why I went to him. So what is it? Tell me about it. What what is this thing? This model, I believe, is the M6G, at least design, uh, designer. I believe that is correct, yes. Yes. Um, and it's from the video game Halo. It is, a. Uh, looks like it's about left, it looks like the, from, the, from the first game. Big, beefy, looks huge in my hand. Yeah, yeah. probably it's, about right. It's uh, <laughs> Master Chief scale. Yes, so, and clearly uh, not the size of Master Chief. I believe it uses Flycore and is, in fact, uh, full auto. So, um, would you care to demonstrate upon this tree, sir? This, this, this tree here. <laughs> That'll do. That'll, That'll do. do. Really well. All right. Now I'm going to take you back to my place and get you FIPS and range footage and palaver and blather and all that jazz. We've got a we've got a Nerf war. Is there a Nerf war going on, sir? Uh, Something. There, there. Yeah, we've we got things to do. You're got, taking too long. Let's go. I'm, Let's get this I, I could blather on my own time. Run for it. Right, I'm here on the range. It has started to rain, though it's currently just a drizzle, and my range is covered by trees. I'm gonna try to get some plinking in before it gets any worse. I'm gonna try to hit a bottle. We'll see if I can hit a bottle. This thing basically fires in two round bursts, so it goes through mags pretty quick, and we'll uh, we'll see how I do. First, we'll try to just hit the target. I got him. Can I get a bottle? I got one. I got two. Round complete. I'm gonna do another. It occurs to me, I have absolutely no idea if this blaster is actually supposed to be full auto. I don't play Halo. Um, I so there's probably a solenoid option, just like there's a solenoid option for the uh, Meowser, but I don't know if anyone's actually designed one. But anyway, I'm a mag dump. That's fun. All right, let's go get you your FIPS. I know you love your FIPS. And then we'll talk about it. Right, let's get you your FIPS. Now the rate of fire on this is enough that it's basically firing a two round burst, so I'm just loading a single dart into the magazine at a time to get these single readings. 118. One seventeen. One oh two. One ten. And finally one eighteen again. So yeah, it's getting between one ten and one twenty, which is a perfectly respectable number in general. There was some I've seen go lower, though uh, I think that was because my battery was actually a little low at the time. And obviously the quality of the darts are gonna make a difference. But um, nothing over 120, so you would be able to use this in an HVZ and pretty much any Nerf War and a lot of LARPs. So yeah, which is good for a cosmetic build. So let's talk about it. Right. Let's talk about this thing. As we heard from Crewman Rocket, this is the M6G Magnum pistol from the Halo video games. This was designed by Fowler Concepts using the Flycore system. If you're unfamiliar with the Flycore system, it is a modular internals system that was designed to allow people to build whatever cosmetic blaster they wanted around that particular core. It is, in fact, the same core that is in blasters like the Meowser. Uh, and if you actually hold them side by side, you can see where that top tab is identical on the two, the uh, flywheels line up, the magwells actually line up as well. Now this one uses an angled mag that is in the grip and this one uses a straight mag that is in front of the grip. Those are options that exist depending on how you want to do it because most of that is purely cosmetics. The angled magazine um, or straight magazine is something that you have to have you know one kit or the other but both options are available. There are also semi-auto and full auto versions. This this one and my Meowser are full auto, but there are uh, a solenoid option that is semi-auto, if that's what you would prefer. I don't know if there is a semi-auto version for this, or if there's only the full auto versions. I know the Meowser has 
has the solenoid option, and I believe the Quick does as well. There are a lot of blasters that are built using the Flycore system now because of how convenient it is. It has all of the geometry for your flywheel and your pusher and all of that. Um, this one, the pusher, is, I believe, a 1,000 RPM pusher, and it's essentially a two-round burst. Um, if you try really hard, you can get it just enough to get one shot, but it's typically going to be multiple shots. You can increase or decrease that depending on what motor you get through out of darts, because on their hardware kit site, you can choose what pusher motor you want. And I don't know what the lowest one is, but I believe the highest is 3,000 3, RPM, so you could get triple the rate of fire that this thing has, which would be... Fairly ridiculous and amazing. Um, someday someone might decide to create a select fire kit. There's plenty of room in this shell. There's room up here, down here. There's probably some room back here because the shell is quite large. Um, I have fairly large hands, and this makes this looks large in my hands. And I suspect two possible reasons for that, or may maybe a combination of both. The first was in order to get the proportions right to fit the flywheel the fly core system in here they had to scale the whole blaster up rather than having um kind of protrusions like you see here where it's sticking out a little bit in order to make it fully cosmetically correct or more cosmetically correct they needed to scale it up alternatively they might have just wanted to make it a uh, master chief scale uh, kind of like if you wanted to make a, a bolter that was actually warhammer you know 40k scale to scale the space marine it would have to be huge and would look ridiculous in the hands of a regular human because it was designed for an eight foot superhuman um so i don't know what it is but i i like the proportions it looks really really good and i've always liked hand guards but that's just part of the original design but yeah it's pretty nifty lots of space in the battery tray uses a a, a thumb screw to open it up come on and then, yeah, there's plenty of room for a decent sized battery in there. And as I said, if they wanted to add, say, a select fire kit, there'd be room for an Arduino up there or a Narf Duino if you really wanted to. Um, this one with the, the specs that I was getting, obviously I said it was a 1000 RPM motor and it's using Loki motors. If you used uh, different motors, you could get uh, more FPS out of it if you really wanted to. As it is, it's good for HVZ, for private games, or for you know public games, stuff like that. Um, magazine release is fully ambidextrous. I very much appreciate that. There isn't enough consideration for us lefties in the world. And uh, it is press. It looks like it should be toggled down. Probably what it, you know, it would have been in the real one, as it were. But it's press, and the magazine comes out quite nicely. So, yeah! There, there you have it. The Fowler Concepts M6G Magnum Halo Pistol. Uh, internals provided by Out of Darts. Links for all of that will, of course, be down in the description. And as always, thank you guys for watching.